The objective of this lesson is to interpret and compare numerical expressions without solving them. As we approach this lesson, it is important to note that there will rarely be exactly one way to interpret an expression verbally or in writing. Similarly, comparisons of expressions can be made in a variety of ways. This re-emphasizes the importance for students to understand how numbers and operations work, rather than just working to arrive at the correct answer. Let's look at our first expression. As we examine this expression, it is important to consider what is happening to the numbers as we work to explain it verbally. In this example, 2 is subtracted from 14, the result of which is divided by 6. In our next example, we see what appears to be a far more complex expression. As we verbally describe it, however, we find it follows a similar structure as our first example. 6 is multiplied by 1 8, the result of which is subtracted from 7 8. Looking at one more sample expression, we see 5 is subtracted from the quotient of 100 divided by 4. Verbally expressing mathematical expressions will help us better understand how numbers and operations relate to each other, as well as help us to discover commonalities between expressions. For example, let's look at these two expressions. Note how each expression contains a common component, 2 added to 1 added to 75 hundredths. Understanding the shared portion of each expression, we can see the expression on the right is 3 times the value of the expression on the left. We can further visualize the similarities and differences between these two expressions by using a Venn diagram. The middle portion of the diagram represents the elements common to both expressions. In this case, 2 added to 1 added to 75 hundredths. The left and right sides of the diagram represents the unique elements of each expression. In this example, the expression on the right is being multiplied by 3, which is not part of the expression on the left. We will place times 3 in the correct part of the diagram. Looking at the Venn diagram, we can again see that the expression on the right is 3 times the value of the expression on the left. In our next example, we can describe the left-hand expression as 8 times the difference of 7 and 5, and the right-hand expression as 4 more than the difference of 7 and 5. Using a Venn diagram, we can identify the difference of 7 and 5 as the common element in each expression. Notice in this example, each expression has a unique element. The expression on the left is multiplied by 8, while the expression on the right is added to 4. We represent them in our diagram by placing each on the corresponding side. In our final example, note which portion of each expression is the same and which is different. The Venn diagram for the expressions 10 times the quotient of 40 divided by 8 and 10 times the quotient of 40 divided by 5 looks like this. In each expression, the dividend is divided by a different divisor, but in both, the quotient is multiplied by 10. The objective for this lesson was to interpret and compare numerical expressions using verbal language. We met this objective by examining our expressions in words and then identifying similarities and differences in pairs of expressions using a Venn diagram.